Hello everyone, my name is Allison. I work in the education department here at the Springs Preserve, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about xeriscaping. It sounds like a big word, but xeriscaping is essentially landscaping without using as much water as you typically would. And if you take a look at some of the items we have up here, we have some succulents and cacti, which are very desert smart plants. They are very incredibly smart with water and they don't use hardly any. Most of these plants you would only water maybe once a week. And this planter here even requires zero water because it is full of art as opposed to actual plants. So today we're gonna to talk about a few of the reasons why xeriscaping is better than traditional grass or other landscaping and other ways that you can save water in your landscaping. Xeriscaping comes from the Greek term xeros, which means dry. And if you weren't so sure, Las Vegas is extremely dry. We live in a desert, which means we get less than four inches of water a year. So having water smart plants in your yard is a great way to save water and conserve the little bit of water that we do have. So one of the ways that a lot of people like to conserve water is with cacti and succulents, but another way is through art and other installations that don't require any water. These are simple river rocks that you could find just about anywhere. You can purchase them at your local hardware store or landscaping store, or you can find one outside in your own yard to repurpose with a new purpose. So you're going to first find your rock. It could be small, it could be large, whatever you want. You're gonna clean that rock off, that's an important step. This rock here, you'll notice, has a funny little coating on it. That is a primer. You can get a primer from your craft store, your grocery store, pretty much anywhere. They have spray primers, paint primers, or you could just use a regular old coat of white paint. Let that dry, and that'll give you a nice good service to do your art on top of. So once you reach that step, Make sure when you buy your supplies, you pick up a sealant of some kind. This will essentially weatherproof your art so that the rain or anything else doesn't wash it away. And then the markers that I have here are just simple paint markers. Usually you want to use acrylic paint, an oil-based would be best, and then seal that with your sealant so it doesn't wash off. If you're having trouble as far as deciding what you would like to put on your rock art, the internet is a great resource. There are tons of clip arts and things you can find on the internet in order to give you some inspiration, reference it while you're doing it, and get your ball rolling. Or you could join us here at the Springs Preserve on Saturdays and Sundays at 11 and 1 o'clock in the Sustainability Gallery, where we do activities like this and other things for kids to learn more about conservation. Thanks.